hello welcome in i'm so glad y'all here let's see let me go ahead and get started ah hey welcome in everybody oh i'm so glad to see you all um thank you for coming oh okay one second. I don't know why it says nobody's here, but okay. How are y'all doing this morning or afternoon? It is afternoon, right? Hey, hi, Auntie Dana. Hello. And Shelia, honey, thank you for being here. Donna, you're working and watching, honey. Thank you for being here. I say, man, I'm saying a whole lot of uh, prayers to the man upstairs that I don't buy somebody's head off. Okay, tyrannical. We all right. We gonna pray that that doesn't happen. But I'm I'm glad to see that you stop in. Uh, so welcome here. You welcome. Um, I got to find my, uh, I got to see where I'm at. Lord, I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> I got to share me out. That's what I'm trying to do. Lord. Well, it's a good day today. And we're going to keep it a good day today, shall we? Let's keep it a good day, huh? I got so many things on. Let me close this down. That's a whole nother thing over there. Suppose I got to put my Bible up on that one. Let me go grab that one, put my Bible on it. Uh I'm just going to share me out real quick, everyone. Give me one second. Thank you for your patience. I appreciate you all. I appreciate the thumbs up. You guys are amazing. You're blessed and thankful, Sheila. Yes, honey. Give me one second. Good morning, Ivory. She's blessed, Smith. Welcome in. I hope I got this right. Okay, well, let's not do that today, Tyrannical. I'm not gonna, we're not doing that today. You may feel that way, but that's not what we're doing today, okay? Um, I don't know what, what that's all about, but I'm not here for it. But what I am here for is love and to share the word that we have today from what we've learned to help us grow spiritually. And if this can help you, I, I welcome you to stay so it can help you. But don't you worry about what other people are doing. You worry about yourself. OK, I just want everybody to worry about themselves. Everybody do me one favor. This is one huge favor. Mind your business. Mind your business, honey. Mind your own business. Mind yourself. Worry about yourself. OK, because we are none of us are perfect. None of us in this earth are perfect. Amen. And so we we just want we want. uh Yeah, that's all. <laughs> That's all. Now, if, you know, if there's some uh, things that need to take place, hey, I'm just keeping it real. Mind your business. Okay, well, thank you for sharing that. And let's keep it on a positive note. Whatever took place somewhere else, I, I, don't, I don't care about all of that. I just know what's going on right here. And I'm not into that space. I want peace and I'm going to continue to have peace on my channel. And that's what we're going to do. So let's have some peace in the building. Peace in the channel, Lord. <laughs> yeah, I love all of y'all and I want peace here. So come on in the room. Uh huh. Come on in the room. Hey, hey, Jesus is my doctor 
He writes out all of my scriptions, gives me all of my medicine in the room. Yes, piece of chicken. Lord Jesus, minister of music, Ted Shaw, you funny. <laughs> we just want peace in the room. Hey, listen, I got a question. Have you all had a chance to check out the video? Um, the video uh, on, on being bundled up. Did you get to check that out? Uh, I re released that on, usually I do um, uh, Tuesday morning, 6 a.m. on the dot. Come on in the room. That's right, honey. We're going to have some peace in here. Listen, I don't want no drama. If you got said drama, you don't have to be here. We ain't doing drama. We are doing peace, love, and joy. There's enough drama out in the world. How many agree with that? There's enough drama out here that when we come here, when we come in here in this channel over her, we not doing no drama. No, ma'am, no way, no how. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? This is what we talking about today. This is what we talking about. <laughs> yeah. Because, honey, I'm, it's all about love. It's love here. We want love to be in the room. So love, peace, the Holy Ghost, honey, happiness. Um, only the love that only God can give. The only, only the love that God can give. Amen. So we have the love of God in our heart. Let's pray real fast, real quick. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, Lord God, for this time that we have to share in you. Lord, I pray that you give us a revelation knowledge, Lord God, on developing our relationship with you, Father, and how we can be what you've called us to be in this earth realm. God, you get the glory, you get the honor, and you get all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. I love this here. Okay. Did you get to check it out? The, it's called Bundled Up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So welcome in, everybody. Did I, let me say hi to everybody that I miss. Hi, y'all. Hello. Um, the Paper Diva, honey, welcome in. Sharing, sharing. Honey, it's a pleasure to see you again, dear. Thank you for coming. Miss Ophelia, yes. Tyrannical, yes. Shelia, yes. Come on in the room, honey. Minister of Music, Terrence Trower. Sir, hello there, my dear brother. <laughs> my Auntie Dana over there, creatively create crochet. Hello, dear. And Ivory, she's blessed Smith. Honey, hello. Welcome in. And sister to sister, honey, good morning, good day, good afternoon. Yes, it is a pleasure to see you all, as always, as always. I'm so glad to see you all. Okay, so here's um here's what it started with, which I love. I love this. First John, First John chapter one. Lord, I'll be getting him a spam calls they be asking me about my car's warranty and all that craziness i'll be i'll be blocking them i promise you i'll be blocking those numbers and they still be calling kelly do you have any pork chops well no but i got some um what is it called delicio is it's a pork chop like but it's plant-based i don't eat meat minister music tans trower i don't eat the meat i do not yeah uh who else is here? Oh, I'm broken. Sylvia Sunshine, honey, welcome in. Thank you for being here. But yes, sir, I do not eat the meat. I just do not. I used to. I loved ribs. Now, that was my thing, but um, mm -mm. all right, let me uh slide these up a little bit. <laughs> Kelly, don't eat the meat. Auntie Dana, real quick before I get into this. Auntie Dana, I did the exercise thingy. My Bobby, I did it yesterday. It was fun. It was fun. Um, I know my, my weird way of thinking of certain things are fun. It was crazy. It was, um, intense it was, it's a hit. It's a, um, 
high intensity interval uh, training, uh, 20 minute um, treadmill thing. Now I don't have a treadmill, but I definitely did what you did. I didn't use my trampoline, even though I could have, <laughs> I didn't use my trampoline, Auntie Dana and honey, it worked out well. It was, it was cool. I had a good time. I'll do it again probably the end of the week. You know, that's something you don't want to do every single day. Did you go hard? Of course, honey. Why not? Let's see. It's a H-I-I-T. Yeah, it's a great workout. Mm -hmm. If you go hard, you can't breathe. Yeah, I couldn't breathe, but it didn't hurt. I mean, I was like, I knew what I was in for. You know, uh. Oh, you think I should record when I'm on my trampoline? <laughs> okay. Um, you want me to really, you want me to record that minister Tim's shower? I thought about it, but I wasn't sure if that would be something people would be into. Oh my gosh. Me jumping on my trampoline or running on my trampoline or doing whatever. Listen, the trampoline is fun. If you do not have one, I got an expensive one. I bought a trampoline. I know I digress, y'all. I'm going to get right back to bundle. But real quick, I have a, a trampoline that I did um, spend a lot of money for because I was buying trampolines like once every so often because I was, because what happens, I'm listening, still finishing up school with my, oh, no problem, I'm broken. Yeah. So what happened was um, when I would get the ones from Walmart, they, uh, you can jump on them, but what happens that over time, that material stretches. Okay. It stretches. Yeah. And so, um, yeah. So with that being said, I wanted something that would last. So I got tired of paying $36 every so often. I want to see that your trampoline. Skin. Oh, it's not like a real big one. Like one that's like huge in the backyard one. No, it's not that it's a smaller one, but it is for exercise purposes for sure. Um, you want to see my trampoline skills, Lord Jesus. Okay. Okay, fine, sir. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'll pray about it. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Granny D, I love you. Thank you so much for coming. Emily. Oh, I'm all right. Okay. Okay. Listen, I love you, Granny D. I do so much. You are so amazing. I appreciate you stopping by. I really do. Hey, Granny D, real quick before you go, just make sure check out uh, YouTube's live stream. That might help you uh, go live more often because you're not if you're not having people. Because I know you're used to doing Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So check that out. That might work. Okay, dear. I hope you got my message before you left. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I like my trampoline just for for exercise purposes, for real. Um, okay, so here goes. Uh, first John chapter one, verse nine. Oh Lord niece, you your what your chair is stretched, Lord. What what in the world was stretched? My trampoline, the old ones, when I kept getting them from Walmart, I had to keep replacing them. Because the, uh, what is it called? Uh, the the trampoline, the padding would stretch because I would jump on it so much that it would end up, my, my uh, feet would pronate and go in like this. And you don't want that. I want it to be like this. So once I noticed it started going like that, I was like, oh no, I got to replace the trampoline. And I got tired of doing that. So what I did was I found a trampoline that was made with the material that they use. Oh, oh, it's the kind that they use for uh, aerospace, um, that kind. So, but the ones at Walmart only last, oh, material, oh, material. Oh yeah, the material, <laughs> okay, material. Yeah, it stretched, it did. I got to keep replacing my trampoline. I got tired of that, that cost too much. Ain't my trying to spend $36 every so often. And when you use it a lot, like me, yourself, myself, I was like, well, I might as well invest in a good one. That's like something that you like and you have to keep replacing it. You might as well get a new one or get one that's going to work. 
like for me, like um, when I first uh, moved out years and years ago, uh, material Jesus, yeah, <laughs> Terry. I know I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I didn't know. Uncle Joe said Terry, Lord, uh, <laughs> Terry. Uh, okay, one second. I had to replace it. And so with that, I got one where the Terio is actually made for, um, they, they use them for, um, NASA will use it, I think. And it doesn't, it doesn't pronate. I mean, my feet don't pronate. And I think up to 600 pounds can jump on it. I think that's what it is. It's either 600, it's something like that. But anyway, I got that material. It's nice. I've had this trampoline for a long time. It has since gone up in price. When I purchased it, it was about $500. Um, I think it's almost $1,000 now when I look to check it out. But it's called the um, Sell Your Seller Sizer. It's C-E-L-L-E-R-C-I-S-E. -E -E. Okay. Y'all talking about food in the chat? <laughs> Oh, good gracious. Y'all fun today. Okay. <laughs> Y'all fun today. Y'all doing it today. All right. Uh, so it was first. Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. First John chapter one, verse nine. And it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins. And to clean us from all unrighteousness. I love that. That is what the Lord is doing for us. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. No, sir. What are some benefits of jumping on a trampoline? Okay. It's called the cell sizer. Get your cells moving. Um, that's one thing. It's low impact. It's another thing. It's really great for your health. So bouncing kind of gets your lymph nodes and everything moving around. I have a whole thing on that. Let me. Give me one second. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. They want to tell the whole world all about it. Um, we ain't got time for all that. <laughs> they want to do it. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. It's good for weight loss as well. Yeah. Um, get you, If you get one and you're going to stick with it, I'd say get a cheap one to see if it's something that you would do. But... Um, if you know you're going to stick with it, then go ahead and invest the money in, in a in a really good one because you do not want to um you don't want to have to keep buying them like I was. I spent probably about a hundred hundred dollars on replacing trampolines when I could have just spent four hundred at one well five hundred dollars and left it alone. Okay, so it's good for weight loss. It's good for your lymphatic system. It's great. It gets your cells moving. And that's what you want. They call them rebounders. So get you a nice rebounder. It's perfect if you, for seniors. For um, There's online workouts and everything. I'm telling you, you will love it. It You can bounce away the stress in your life. So if um, you want a trampoline, I say get one. Just make sure if you know you're going to stick to it, get Get one that is going to work for uh, for you. The one I have is called the Seller Sizer. I'll just type it in here so you know what it's called. Just in case you're interested and go to that website, you're going to see the price. Do not pass out because I already told you how much it costs. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's what it's cost. Okay. Did I spell it right? I hope I did. <laughs> I think I did. Oh, geez. So I can move on, but it is good for all of that. It's good for weight loss and all that. It's low impact, which is great. Um, get your sales moving. Yeah, I spelled it right. Mm 
Uh, mine is a travel one, so I can take it wherever I want to go. So I made sure I got one that I could travel and it has the bar to it. I can use the hand uh, bar if I want. But I love, I love it. You're welcome, dear. So go to, it's called, um, let me tell you the website. If you're interested in learning more about it, I will put it here because I'm all about helping our people be healthy, Lord. Um, that's the name of the website, sellersides.com. Um, it's a rebounder and it is not cheap. And amen. All right. God bless you, uh, Tyrannical. Yeah. All right. So it is really good for you. And you can get a lot of steps in that way, too. All right. Let's go in and move forward. Where was I? <laughs> Where was I? Lord, help me, Jesus. Help me, Lord. Okay. We are talking about bundled up. And I love how she was talking about how she had like, all right, if you didn't get a chance to uh, listen to it, um, she was talking about how she walked out, went for a walk on a crisp autumn morning. I love crisp autumn mornings. I do. She went out with her, um, what she, she had on her favorite sweater. She was dressed. She had on too much, first of all, but she had on a whole uh, wool sweater. Okay. She had on a hat. <laughs> she had on a um, uh, wool scarf, right? And she had on uh, fingerless gloves and a hand knit socks. Now, there's nothing wrong with those items. They're all beautiful items to have. They're all handmade. But when you go out, honey, and you go for a walk, you're going to start peeling out of that stuff. It's going to be too hot. You're going to get uncomfortable. And you're going to be like, you know what? I need to take this stuff off. And so basically, she was saying she was bundled up for this wonderful uh, crisp autumn morning going for a walk. And as her body started to heat up, she realized she had on too much gear. So she had to start taking stuff off. She was taking the clothes, clothing off that she had. Um, so it sounds like she started with her scarf. She started unloosening her scarf. And also she uh, finally uh, took it off uh, or unwound her scarf. And then she pulled the gloves off that she had on her hands and stuck them in her pocket and unbuttoned her sweater. Good gracious. Yeah. And she was talking about, you know what, it would be nice, you know, to walk and not have to carry all this stuff. Imagine being bundled up and you realize, oh my gosh, I don't need all this clothing. I don't need all these things I'm wearing. No, you can take them, you know, take them off, but wouldn't it be nice if she could just take them off and set them, <laughs> set them on somewhere on the trail and not have to carry them and just be free and walk being free with, and not having all of these items to carry. That's, you know, when I would go to amusement parks, I do not like carrying purses and stuff. I do not like that. Yes. Okay, Sabrina, welcome in. Thank you for coming. Is she talking about the trampoline? Yeah. You must be way back in the way back. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. Um, I have a personal size trampoline, but check out that website I put out there. That'll give you the information you need on the type of trampoline that I that I have and I've had for years and I love it. And it's sitting over there staring at me. <laughs> yeah. So basically she was talking about how, you know, once her body start, I don't like carrying much to walk much as me either. I don't even like carrying my cell phone. I don't, I bought this thing. It's called a band and I just put it around me and it, I put my cell phone in it and I put my headphones on that way. I don't like carrying anything when I'm walking or when I'm at an amusement park or anywhere, even in the grocery store. I don't even like it. I can put my money in there if I want to. It's called a Bandy, B-A-N-D-I. And um, I bought it and you just put it on and it's a material that you just, um, how can I say? It's interlocking material. So you, you put your, I put my phone on it in it and then I put, you know, and then wrap it around or whatever. Yep. So 
How many are like that who don't like to carry a lot of stuff with them when they go for walks or whatever? The weather start, you know, lightening up and you start to feel like, oh, shoot, I got to take my um, some of my garments off. I'm wearing too much. And then you got to carry it. You know what I do when I my sweater, I take it off and I tie it around my waist because I don't like carrying stuff <laughs> when I'm walking. I literally will. I will tie it around my waist. I'm still like that. Even when I was in, you know, school, uh, I would take my coat off. If I could tie it around my waist, yes, I will. I like to wear cotton because other fabrics make me sweat and I can, I carry as little as possible also. Yeah. And that's what we want to do. You know, carry as little. I don't like to walk. Yeah. <laughs> like what? <laughs> that's, that's, the, <laughs> that's a cool form of transportation. That's what I do. Uh, Kelly is tie it around my waist. Yeah. I tie stuff around my waist. Angie, you don't like to walk. <laughs> Man, it's the simplest form of transportation. <laughs> we got to get to wherever we can get to wherever we go. Whether it's... <laughs> but I understand a lot of people don't like to... You, They rather get there quick, fast, and in a hurry. But if if you do like to walk, if you do. If you do. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. That's that's what I uh, normally do. Tie my stuff around my waist because it's just too much to carry. I don't want to carry all that. And if I'm close to home, I'm going to go back home, and I'm going to um, I'm gonna go back home. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, let's see what I'm saying. I'm gonna drop it off at the house. Unless you ride a cruiser, three wheel or bike, I want one of those. Oh yeah, that would be nice to have too. So you don't have to carry all that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I'm laughing. I mean, it's not funny because I know there's a lot of people who don't like to walk. But I'll be thinking, but <laughs> don't mind me. Don't mind me, Lord. Just pray for me. Okay, so basically, all I'm saying is when we do get out and we do, you know, we realize, you know what, it's warm out. Yeah, <laughs> it's warm out. And so let me see. Let me, um, so that's basically what, what, um, I like to do is just take off my garments, but I'd like to take them home, but we don't, always get to take them home <laughs> when we out and walking about. So we carry them with us. So here's the thing. I love the analogy she used with that. You know, I love my hands to be free. Don't you? The freedom in that. Oh my gosh. I don't like to exercise either, but I really need to do something because God made our bodies to move, to be healthy. Yeah. Hey, Bree, welcome in. Bree Williams is here, honey. Welcome in as well. That's right, Sabrina. Yeah. Just Start with walking. You know what I started with? Walking around. When I get back into exercise mode, I go for a walk and I take my time. I don't do no super fast walk. We're going to run and all that. No, nah, I ain't got that to do. I'm just going to walk either up the street or around the block. I usually walk around the block. That gives me more energy. I realize when I do that, my joints are, are happier. They're happy that they went somewhere. <laughs> and so I'm more flexible when I do that. Yeah. So basically, um, I love how she said this. She said, I thought of the other layers I am bundled in. She says, I wrap, I am wrapped in faith, draped with love and covered with creativity. Isn't that awesome? I like to dance, bowl, walk slowly, be in water. Yeah, those are cool things. Then pick one, get one, pick one and get jiggy with it. <laughs> That's what I say. Yeah. Yeah. So basically I love that. How she says that we're draped in how she says I'm wrapped in faith. I'm draped with love and covered with creativity. And God has given us all of that. He's given us all of that. And then she says, and I'm also, I am also bound by pride, tied with resentment and constricted with anger and envy. Now, that right there. This analogy is so great about 
how we're covered in these good things, but then there's also some things that we have that are not so good. Is that right? And some of us may experience some of these things, one or a few of these things, who knows? Um, being bound by pride, being tied with resent resentment and restricted with anger and envy. She said, I need to peel off some of these layers. Yeah. Words that make you go, hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love to see God's beauty and mag uh, magnificent creations in life. Yeah. Words that make you go, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But that right there, because uh, even though we have good stuff, there's some bad stuff we could get rid of, we could share, we could take off. Right. <laughs> and she says, if, if only it were as easy to let my pride slip through my fingers as it is to slide the gloves off of my hands. Good gracious. Lord, can it be easy? Lord, help it be easy for me. Help me get myself together. We need to learn to break those chains that aren't good for us. Absolutely. Absolutely. The release my body feels from the extra layers of clothes is the same release my soul craves from my sins. Good gracious. And the sins, what she's you know, speaking of are the things that she's mentioned uh, before. She stated about the pride, about resentment um, and being constricted with anger and envy. Yeah, we will be free if we just listen to the Lord and do what, as he says, come on, Sabrina, you preaching, honey. You better come on in the room. Yeah, we need to get free. There's a song that says freedom looks good on you. I forget how it goes, but it goes a little something like this. Um, I'm gonna see if I can sing it. Um, how's it go? Freedom looks good on. Freedom looks good on you. Yeah. Freedom looks good on freedom looks good on you have you heard that song uh, it is so beautiful i love that song i'm here sister yeah yeah freedom looks good on you freedom looks good on each and every one of us honey he whom the sun sets free is free indeed and wouldn't it be nice to be free from these things and i love it how he she says um i already read this part but i'm gonna say it again thank you so much she says uh the re release my body feels from the extra layers of clothes is the same release my soul craves from sins for my sins i have already been given permission and forgiveness to toss all my sins aside and walk free in Christ. Good gracious. That right there. Y'all, <laughs> we already been forgiven. We could walk in the freedom huh, uh, from these things because he whom the son sets free is free indeed. And he set us free indeed. Freedom. Yes. Yes. And we can, honey, walk in the freedom of the Lord. Yes, come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go, huh? Amen. Amen. I love it. Um, she said, Jesus gave me that freedom when he died for me. Yes, he did. I am, I am the one still clinging to ugly burdens and unnecessary layers. Now, what can we do to get uh free from this stuff, huh? Amen. Amen, Angie's. Yeah. Absolutely, Sabrina. You better come on in here, honey. Let's go on and get free. He's already given us the freedom. All we got to do is walk on it. Walk on it. Walk in it. <laughs> However you want to say it. Walk in the freedom and the liberty that has been given us. Amen. She says, also, it is hard to loosen my grip on, uh, for, on comfortable, 
comfortable trappings, she says. She says these things are comfortable and she likes them. So it's when you like something that's comfortable, you used to it. Mm, I love it. Mm. You hold on to it instead of releasing it. Yeah. We are free to do so. Just ask the Lord, our father. Amen. He will help set you free from anything you ask that is burdening you and holding you down. I like to do things for those less fortunate. So I don't focus on my troubles. That's good sharing, uh, Sharon. But even, even in that, and in, in our helping less fortunate, that gives us a space of distraction from what goes on, right? Mm-hmm. However, honey, even before we get started, that prayer, we say that prayer in the morning and, and believing the Lord hears us. He hears us. Uh -huh. And just letting you know, Father, you know what the day is going to bring. Don't let me focus on any of those things that will cause my heart trouble. Let me walk in your peace and your joy and your love today. Let me show love to somebody else, Lord God. Let it be the love that you put in my heart to show other people so they can see you in me and say, what can I do to get what you got? And I can share the good news of you with them. Amen. <laughs> Yes, Sharon, honey, Sharon, Sharon. Mm -hmm. Hometown to homestead gal, garden crocheting and listening and being blessed by these words. Oh, amen. Welcome in and thank you for coming. Please feel free to hit the thumbs up. I really appreciate it <laughs> if you could. But I love that. And so, he, and here she, she says the same thing. Here she says, she said, um, Okay, let me finish this thought she had. Um, it is hard to loosen my grip on comfortable trappings. I cling to my familiar ways, but I work up a sweat and feel pressed to change. Come on, you do need to learn and and uh, God will let you keep going through those things. Yes, over and over again until you learn because you, uh, yeah, because you learn from the obstacles in your way of life. Absolutely, Sabrina, come on in the room. You better come on, girl. Let's go. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And I love it. She says, it is my prayer to strip off one layer and break free. I say strip off one layer at a time. She says strip off one layer and break free. Yes, I agree. Just admit you are a crackpot and willing and open to be molded. And come on, Angie. Let's go, girl, honey. Yeah. <laughs> that's my word for the, my phrase for the day. Let's go. Yeah. Let's come on. Come on with it. Let's go. Amen. <laughs> that's my phrase for the day. Let's go. Amen. Mm -hmm. So then she says, uh, change one way of wrapping myself in burdens. I don't need. Yes. Just like an onion, peel those layers, not just one, but you know, but I love how she's saying peeling one layer and maybe one layer at a time. There's no, you know what I'm saying? Soak in the spirit and God's word. You better come on in the room, Sabrina. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our heavenly father has never left his children. He's always watching over us. Absolutely. Sheila, come on, let's go, girl. <laughs> Natural Nene, welcome in. Hello. But I love it. She says, change one way of wrapping myself in burdens I don't need. This will take time. And that is the truth. Some things take longer than others. It is true, true, true. Listen, let me, let me tell y'all. I had this uh, situation, something that happened to me years ago, long, long, long time ago. I don't like to, you know, kind of bring up the past, but I kind of just share a little bit. And I'm not going to go into details of that. But um, some things happened to me when I was a child, and it was not cool. It was horrible. However, you know, as you pray, you know, I pray and I ask the Lord to allow me uh, to forgive, to forgive these people. I want to be what God has called me to be in this earth realm. So I prayed. I said, Lord, please help me forgive. I don't know how to forgive them. I don't know. They did me wrong. They wasn't right. And I was valid in how I felt. 
Okay. My, my feelings were completely valid, mm -hmm. but I had to forgive. How do I expect God to forgive me if I can't forgive uh, a person that, you know, that has done me wrong, Lord, we got to forgive. So I prayed and I asked uh, the Lord to uh, help me to forgive those things. And so I was able to forgive. Now, as I grew throughout my years of living, when I I would see um, now one person I was able, I forgave and I was able to really completely forgive and just really be like, man, you know what? You must be in a lot of pain yourself to cause pain on other people. Right. So one person I was able to forgive um, a lot quicker. Okay. And then I'd see another person and I see this person throughout the years. And I'm like, why do I feel every time I see this person, I want to, oh, I should want to punch him in the face. Lord, I forgave him. <laughs> I forgave him. And the Lord, let me know you, you haven't forgiven. And I was like, I thought I did. I, I literally, Y'all, for real, I really thought I forgave because I said, Lord, I took it to you. I, I forgave them. So when I see them, there shouldn't be anything there. When I see them, there shouldn't be a trigger. There shouldn't be uh, anything where my body reacts to this person. My mind shouldn't react to this person in that way. So the last time, okay, I seen this person. The last time I seen him, I said, Lord, before I, I seen him again, I said, I want the forgiveness to be there completely, your love to cover in this area and your forgiveness be performed in me so that I can have peace when I see this person. Y'all, I saw that person. There was no button you could push. There was nothing there. It was zero. I was like, yay. I was so happy. I was so happy that forgiveness had really taken over yeah. Yeah. I was able to forgive. And you know what? I was able to hug that person and tell him, you know what? God loves you. I was able to do that. And two weeks later, y'all, that person passed away. That person passed away. And I felt, you know, sad that that person passed away. I didn't want any harm to come to that person. It just hurt my heart. But all that to say that we really have to peel off the layers that keep us in a place of comfortability that aren't showing for the love of God is what I'm going to say. Yeah. So, yes, we have to forgive, have to first forgive ourselves so that we can forgive others just like God forgave us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So sorry you went through many pains as a child. Yeah, I think a lot of us have. Yeah, a lot of us have childhood traumas, honey. Mm -hmm. You had to forgive in order to be at peace and he will take care of them. Yeah. So you forgave, but he, but you didn't forget. Yeah, I had to let it go. You got to let all of it go. You have to let all of it go. So you have to truly give it to God and throw that stone in the ocean so you will never see it again. Yeah, you got to even forget it. And she is crazy. Um, and release all the all of your pains. Yeah, give that faith to uh in God to forgive. Yeah, so it, it's like a distant, it's a um maybe I, I don't I haven't forgotten, but it's like a forgiveness that I can't explain it. I just know that there when you push a button. There's nothing there, <laughs> right? So rest in peace to that. So yeah, but God took care of the problem after you did what he asked you to do. Absolutely, he did. And that was um, for all things. It's like, it's like for father, forgive them for they didn't even know what they did. They didn't know what they did. They didn't, there's no way. They didn't know. So once I was able to do that and to, and when I saw that person was nothing there, I celebrated in the car going home. I was like, I'm so happy. <laughs> yes. It, it, and he did that. He did that. God is amazing. God is amazing. God took care of it. He took care of my heart too. And all that.
So then he, she says, I am sure I will offer this plea to God again for another thing, right? But today I am going to try and loosen the bond, the bond of one heavy layer and claim my forgiveness. Yes, come on. We have to learn, uh, we have to learn from a fog how to handle different situations from God. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. As long as you do as God says to immediately forgive, you will be forgiven too for your wrongdoings. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, Sabrina. And that's the truth, y'all. Um, whew, it was great. I when when I realized that true forgiveness was on board, man. And that's how we have to treat people with love, kindness, and um. And we got to forgive them because sometimes people don't know what they're doing. They don't even know what they're saying. They don't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> we have to do it. But yeah, it was really good. And I love the prayer she has on here. She says, dear father, help me unwrap one sin today. At least one. Help me find a way to forgive myself for holding on to something that is hurting me. And then she says, let me choose your forgiveness. Amen. Quick quiz. What does the word Bible mean? What does it mean to you? Let's see. God gave me a jab at a drug rehab center. So uh, I could learn forgiveness to my ex. Okay. Okay. Sharing us, uh, Sharon. All right. God will use honey. He will use any, anything to uh, get your attention for some things, honey. Yes. What does it mean to you, dear? Basic instructions before leaving earth. Wow. That's cool. I love that. I love that. Basic instructions before leaving earth. Wow. I still can't talk to him, but not no hate. Let me tell you, I understand that sharing, Sharon. I was in a, a relationship. I was married before prior to, and um, I had to forgive my ex before I could move forward in anything in life. If I did not, if I did not forgive him, I would hold everybody hostage that tried to come into my life to show me uh, uh, true love uh, that only comes from God. And, and it's the truth. I had to forgive. So on the day that our stuff was final, I did a lot of things that just exuded the love of God for this person. And at the end of the day, when I dropped them off at after, yep, I picked them up and took them, make sure he went. And that's what I did. <laughs> and um, by the time um, we got back to um, his home, I he got out the car and I said, hey, I forgive you. I really do forgive you. And I love you with the love of God. And I pray that you have an awesome, wonderful life. I pray that your life is awesome, but I forgive you. And I left him with those words because he needed to know that, you know, he can have a relationship with, with God as well. And if he knows forgiveness is on board from a person and how God can change my heart from wanting to punch him in the face to... <laughs> to forgiving them and really having a, a space of compassion. But I just couldn't live with that no more. I couldn't do it. Somebody else can. I couldn't do it no more. It's an abusive uh, relationship. I couldn't do it no more. So with that being said, <laughs> God has blessed me with an awesome husband who loves me 100%. And I'm going to tell you, when I seen my ex, I'm like, hey, how you doing? 
Good. I, I'm good. That's good. I'm glad for you. I'm so glad that you're doing well. And that is the truth. So I'm like, God bless you and keep it moving. Yeah, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Yeah. So, yeah, but that's it. Y'all is forgiveness. I mean, it sounds like that's the word for today. Forgive, honey, and move on, honey. Forgive and let true, let the complete forgiveness of God really overtake you. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's all I have for today. I'm happy to be able to share this with you. But I love that. Get free, everybody. Let's get free, huh? Let's be free. Let's be free in the Lord. He whom the Son sets free is free indeed. And if we can drop off some of these layers that keep us weighed down, even though it feels comfortable, they got to go because they get in the way of the better way of life for us. They do. Uh, the life that God has for us. Absolutely. Free as a bird. Amen. There's another song. Um, how's it go? He whom the sun sets free is free indeed. He whom the sun sets free is free indeed. I'm free to worship. Free to dance, free to lift up holy hands and magnify his name. Yes, we're free. Free as a bird, uh, Sabrina. <laughs> free as a bird, honey. Yes, we are free in him. Yes. If it wasn't for the Lord, I don't know where I'd be. Have you heard that song before? If it had not been for the Lord on our side, tell me where would I be? Where would I be? Yes. Where would we be, honey? I don't know where I would be without him. Mm-mm. I don't know where I will be without the Lord. Yes. Do you sing in church? You have a beautiful voice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I used to. <laughs> I used to. Then the panorama came. A panorama came and I'm like, I'm in a limbo. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I'm still waiting on where the Lord would have me to go. So far, it's been in these YouTube streets singing worshiping the lord crocheting and loving on people <laughs> i wish i had a beautiful girl honey let's see sabrina the word is so clear he said make a joyful noise unto the lord all ye lands right all ye lands serve the lord with gladness mm -hmm. come before his presence right with singing is that how it go you know how it go honey you don't, you, you know, you do have a beautiful voice. Listen, a joyful noise. You have a joyful noise to the Lord. Amen. It ain't got to be perfect. Mm -mm. You ain't got to be perfect. And, and, and listen, I'm all right. I ain't. <laughs> Maybe when I get to heaven, I will be girl. No, I can only hope. No, he says, sing unto the Lord. You can sing right now. Yeah. Where will we be? Absolutely. Hello, Sandrine. We will be lost without our Heavenly Father. That's right. Welcome in, Sandrine. How, what's that one song that I always sing? Um, oh, what's the song? Oh, I can't even think of it right now. But <laughs> amen. I accept and receive your rest. Thank you. And thank you, Jesus. Yeah. And listen, at home, whatever, just sing unto the Lord. Listen. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Is that right? We don't have to be perfect. It just has to be God. That's it. That's it. That's all. 
none of us are perfect. We won't reach perfection until we get to him. Listen, this is a slow race. We are all in it. It's not given to the swift, huh? But he that endures until the end, and not even the strong, he says, the word says, but he that endures to the end, endure to the end with joyful, joyful uh, noise in your heart. Mm -hmm. And sing to your heart's content, wherever, where you in the car, doing the dishes, and no matter what, knowing that God is getting the glory out of it all. I'm trying to think of that song that um uh I can't even think of um I'm trying to think of it and I it's just is leaving my brain because I keep hearing this little bit of this song being free. He whom the sun sets free is free indeed. And I hear that little song that says, freedom looks good on, freedom looks good on you. Yeah. Freedom looks good on, freedom looks good on you. So get free, get free from this stuff that's bundling us down. What we bundled up with, let's take it off. Take off, uh, was it pride? Take off resentment, honey, <laughs> envy. Yeah, nobody going to steal my joy. That's right, sharing, sharing. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. See, you in it to win it too. We all here, listen, we all are striving for the same thing. One thing is for sure is that we want to operate in, in love so much so that when people see us, they want to be around us. They want to hang out with us and they want to get what we have and to, you know, it's infectious. And then once you start <laughs> infecting people with the love of God, man, it's contagious. It goes all over the place. Yeah. And, you know, just like, you know, people want to be negative. Negativity can, can just suck you dry. Lord, we don't want it. We want to stay in the peace and the love of God, and we see negativity all around, honey, we don't have time for that. I'm not bringing negativity in these YouTube streets. I'm here for the joy of it. I'm here for the fun of it. And I'm here for the love of it. And I'm here for, for whatever the Lord wants me to do in these YouTube streets. And that is the truth. That is why I'm here, honey. But there was a song, how's it go? Um, oh, How's it go? Oh my gosh. I hear part of it. Let me see if I can find it. If I can find the words, I'll sing it. Yeah, we here for the love of it, honey. Oh, here's a cool song. The safest place in the whole wide world is in the will of god oh the safest place in the whole wide world is in the master's hand so wherever it may be if god says go we ought to go yes the safest place in the whole wide world is in the will of God. It is. And that is what I want to be. That's where I want to be. That's where I got to be. That's where, I, listen, the blessed part is about it. This is where I choose to be. And you know how you love somebody so much. You just want to be there with them. You just want to, you do it because you love them. That's how, you know, that's how I feel about the Lord. He's always on my mind. And, uh, I can't, I can't even explain it. And I want to, I want to be there. I want to be there uh, with him. I want to do what he asked me to like my husband. I love my husband so much. And it's, if he asked me to do so, I'm going to do it. It's because I want to, and I choose to, we choose each other. Right. So I choose to be and the, and that's the blessed part. God doesn't force himself on anybody. He doesn't. He doesn't force, he's not, uh-uh. 
He wants you to choose. He gives us free will to choose. And honey, I am here to utilize the free will that God has given me. And that is that I choose joy. I choose love. I choose God 100%. Yes, I do. Amen. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, it has been fun. I have, I am over my time. Um, it is an hour. Now I got to get back to work. And so listen, I will be back out in these YouTube streets on Sunday at 6 30 p.m eastern standard time provided i don't have to work sometimes i have to work i get on a little bit later but i usually try to let you know if i'm gonna be late right i'll i'll put a uh community post or you'll see the time change so if you set a reminder you'll see the time change in uh the reminders but for the most part i uh i enjoy being here this was really great um we gotta do this again family mm -hmm. we gotta do it again yes Oh my gosh, I'll be thinking of all kinds of songs. All right, let me see. Now, I always sing this song because it is the truth. It is the truth. Blessings, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Um, let me find it. Be blessed, everyone. Yes. All right. I always pull up the words so I don't mess them up because I want y'all to know this is true. Okay, it goes like this. We can right head out. God bless you. May heaven smile upon y'all. I need you. You need me. We're all a part of God's body. Stand with me. Agree with me. We're all a part of God's body. It is his will that every need be supplied. You are important to me. I need you to survive. I pray for you. You pray for me. I love you. I need you to survive. I won't harm you with words from my mouth. I love you. I need you to survive. It is his will that every need be supplied. You are important to me. I need you to survive. Hey, Amen. I just love y'all. Oh my goodness. One virtuous woman. Oh, VW, honey. Welcome in. I'm getting ready to head out. We are ready to roll on out. I got to get back to work. Uh, work. <laughs> Not that I'm going for a computer right here. Log on. You know. <laughs> but y'all be blessed. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Sabrina. You so beautiful too. I hope to see you Sunday. Um, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If not, honey, don't even worry about it. Listen, I will see you somewhere in these YouTube streets. Is that right? All right. Well, listen, I love you all. God bless you all. And may heaven smile upon you. Enjoy y'all's day. And be kind to one another, honey. People need kindness. There's a lot of people in pain. And if we realize that when people start tripping, honey, we can just be like, let me, honey, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and show forth the love of the Lord these streets. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. All right. Bye. <laughs>